hi and welcome back to another video so this is an update on the fence wall uh, we haven't done over here so as it stays now they have completed it they use a total of 11 working days so they started from the monday uh worked all the way to the saturday and then continued from the other monday and then ended today so today's currently friday so i'll take you through what they've done so far so first of all if you notice as i was saying they were going to lay 10 feet intervals with where there's going to be steel where which is going to house concrete and then 10 feet on and on and on so about seven pieces of blocks makes uh 10 feet now that would depend on the size of the block anyway so one two three four five six seven so that makes seven uh pieces that makes 10 feet and then there's an introduction of steel so the size of the steel um, the use was 12 millimeters uh, 11.5 would also equally work and the, they did it four by four so four inches by four inches and then after laying the block they placed that um, that so the steel was inside as part of the concrete which was done at the base and then was uh, um, cast with concrete so this should have been eight cores of blocks but this is nine because uh, i didn't like the height that it got to so i had to ask them add one more uh, to it to make it uh, nine cores so from here all the way to some point over there is nine cores of uh, blocks let me just see if i can walk over even before i walk over let me just show you this so you can see that the improved membrane i spoke about in one of my videos where it is always advisable to have it come out of the trench so that is it and they you know cover the side with soil so you can still see a bit of the improved membrane by the side of the fence wall so uh let's just take a, a look around what they've done so far so um as you can see all the concrete has been cast um so you have blocks here then there's concrete and blocks concrete on and on and on so if you look a little bit ahead you notice that there's a bit of a uh, step ahead so that is yeah because of uh, when we're taking uh, that side had had to go a little bit up compared to the section so that is the level over here and if i take you inside you notice that there's even a very good space between the fence wall in the building to take a look at that uh, shortly so this is the very end or this is the corner of the fence all the way to that point and then from here you come to the very back over here as well so as you can see uh, the steps goes on and on so I'm, I'm sure you would even appreciate this more if you take a look at the drone uh, footage so you notice that it goes so from here because of the slope in the land they had to uh you know introduce the step all the way down to the very end so this today today is actually the last day that they cast the concrete so that's how come you notice that this is a little bit fresh from here and the carpenter supported this with um uh, bamboo and then the boards that we had so that's it over here so it goes all the way to the very end of the um uh, yeah the land so that is the last end let me just take a walk over there so you can see that so this is the last step over here and yeah so that is this is the last end over here and it goes all the way to that section as well i'm sure you might be interested in the total um quantity of blocks that were used as well as cement yeah so um the total quantity of blocks that were used for the uh, fencing was um 2000 that is for the two properties so 2050 uh, pieces that was the total um pieces of blocks that were um used so we started off with two uh, two thousand pieces first and uh eventually we had to add up 50 pieces more to it to have it uh complete now uh, like i was saying it took a total of um 
11 working days that includes the day game too for them to be able to uh, have it you know get to this particular point and like i said in the very first video defense the two sides of my bit and then two sides of my friends bit. so we, we are currently left with the front part to fence as it stays now and for the cement we use a total of 51 bags of um, cement to have this done so i'm sure getting the idea of the total number of blocks we've used so far and then also for the cement so if you want to know the actual quantity of blocks they use for each um, side you just have to do the math so maybe for my two parts uh, that that would be 1025 pieces of blocks so in case you want to do the other two means you're looking at a total of 2000 and maybe 50 or maybe 2000 pieces of blocks uh, the reason why we've had to use a little bit more blocks also has to do with the steps uh, that we introduced as well as the you know the courses number of courses that we were looking at that's also a contributing factor so that would be 1025 pieces of blocks and then for the cement, uh, since we use 51, so that would be uh, 25.1 or maybe 26 pieces of uh, cement for uh, the two sides. So if you want to fence your prop property, you have an idea of uh, the number of blocks you should be looking for it too. Now the size of this land is 70 by 100. So this will not solely apply to 80 by 100 or 100 by 100. So it's just a matter of you have to get a calculation right and then to be able to apply um, that to the size of the property that you have so this is the very end of this section let me just show you over here and so we have a fence over here that will go all the way to hit the very end of that uh, place over there so that is um, how it looks uh, now so also um, this fencing involved or included a service of uh, the mason, uh, carpenter, as well as a steel bender. So the mason and his people started off with the digging of the entire place. And then after that, um, the steel bender and his people came to tie the steel for um, the, you know, the very, um, you know, sections that needed steel. And then after that, the carpenter also came to nail the wood to hold the um, concrete now because of the slope in the land it was very important to introduce some gap or spaces over here so that once it rains and it is maybe a lot of rainwater it is able to easily wash through those uh, spaces so there's some on the other side as well and then also if you take a good look at the concrete when i was outside you noticed that it was flat but inside you notice that there's a little bit of step over here so the idea is when it's time to plaster it you know the steps are going to stay all the way so that it doesn't look flat um throughout now the back uh is flat because whoever is going to be there may also decide on what they intend to um do over there now when you one thing about fencing is that if yeah it's time for you to fence your property and you're fortunate to have a neighbor who is also maybe doing something on their property sometimes you can have a discussion with them and then they will maybe agree to support a bit of it especially the section that is going to divide the both of you um if the one is there it means you're solely going to take the cost of that so in our case as it stays now we don't yet have any neighbor yet so we just have to solely take uh the cost you know take care of the entire cost for the fencing so let me show you the concrete the uh, other side i was talking about so if you look there you notice the side is flat and then the other side has a bit of step in there i'm sure you may also be wondering why did we decide to use concrete for the intersections or the spaces in between instead of blocks some people use blocks to interlock and they are good to go now the reason is because over here if you notice we are on the hill uh, when you look down there that is like it goes down there and then there's a valley there and then up again now at our point over here we don't have trees that is one so whenever it's about to rain sometimes we experience you know strong winds and the rest and concrete always you know outweighs the strength of the normal block so then having the concrete this is going to hold the building family as compared to that of just you know normal blocks and also sometimes with the normal interlocking blocks depending on how it is done when 
they they you know was you know set after some time it set properly you notice that there's a bit of cracks at those intersections or those joints over there so to avoid all that and you know having the fence coming down some time you know not so long from when it was constructed we just decided to um go ahead to have the concrete it would have been a little bit cheaper using the um, talocan blocks but it's always best to go in for what will last for a long time if you have the means to so we just decided to go in for the um, concrete at the various intersections and that has been the work so far so in a nutshell uh, the fence has been completed um, I won't be so much be able to tell you what it costs because I've noticed that sometimes when you share a bit of cost wise in terms of some of these things uh, people want to apply it wherever they are having their project and it will not always work that way so I've given you an idea of the total quantity of blocks we used as well as cement now for the sand we just needed a, a trip of sand um, we purchased 18 cubic but that was a little bit more than we needed um, and for the stones one trip that single axle will work we already have some stones over there so that's what we relied on for this um, thing so basically that's just about this let's uh, take a walk inside and look at the space between the fence and then the building as well so we are currently inside uh, you notice the container is over here now if i come close here there's a bit of space over here between the container and then the wall but it's not so much i won't go through the side let me just go through the side so i mean so there's the bamboo fence we have our entrance over here and so this is towards the back of the house or the side so that's uh, why i just showed you uh, if you go through the side you notice there's a space over here so there's like about three to four feet space which is good further down here so you have a water storage tank here which has some water in it and then continue from here yeah i'll have to repaint the wall because they've you know soiled it with the concrete works that it did so we have a pumping machine and the filters yeah sure so that's it you notice it's good size of space all the way here which goes all the way down there and yeah that's just about it so um i hope you found i hope this video has been um, insightful so far um getting to know what it's likely to cost the number of quantities of materials you need to construct a fence for so in case you have any questions or any feedback or anything you can just drop them in the comment section and i'll do what to respond to them so that is just about it for now thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next one